So we're here at uh, ST, and uh, you have a new CPU. Hello. So who are you? Uh, my name is Tim Nikonson. I'm a product marketing engineer for our STM32 product family. Today we are destroying, uh, displaying our Cortex M7, which is our latest and greatest of high performance benchmarks for our Cortex M series. Uh, we are showing here the Cortex H7, and with the new dip technology we're developing, this is our latest. Uh, in difference to our current F7, a real boost in performance in terms of operating frequency and bandwidth. So in current F7, we're operating at 200 megahertz. The FH7 is at 400 megahertz. Uh, the reason for the increase of speed is this is our first chip for our with a smaller process tech node, node technology. Process node is uh, what? What is the size? Uh, this one is at 40 nanometer uh, compared to 90 nanometer that we have previously with our F7. So you said how much? Sorry. 40. 40. Yeah. And the other one was? 90 nanometer. 90 nanometers. So that, with the smaller POS technology, yeah. we're looking at a higher bandwidth and also a smaller power consumption footprint. Yeah. So can we look a little bit? Uh, sure. Yeah. So what is this board? So this is our standard uh, STM32 A7 development board. Uh, the full feature set, so as you can see here, every peripheral that is available on the chip is bonded out. UART, Ethernet, Quad SPI, and a bunch of uh, displays as well. And so what kind of uh, application is it going to be used for? Uh, two applications that kind of emerged from this market uh, will definitely be on uh, audio, which traditionally was done with a DSP. But now with the general purpose micro, you can actually combine whether traditionally we have a DSP and a MCU, this can combine into one different core. Another application uh, market that we're looking into is doing graphics. So traditionally as well, this could be done with a Cortex-A. Now this can be done on a Cortex-M series. Platform. Is this the fastest ARM Cortex M7 in the world? That, that is correct. Yeah. 400 megahertz. First, yeah, first faster than uh, Atmel, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, is ready now? Yes. Well, we're alpha sampling right now, and we're expecting to go mass market release in Q2 of next year. All right. So here's some graphics you're showing. Sure. This is our fractal demo. This, this one essentially just shows the horsepower that is capable for our device. So. For 3D uh, and for video. And then this demo here shows the graphics capability in terms of video for H7. Four different screens, four different video, streaming from a USB drive. Right. 